hey, I'm back. And for those of you out there who have barcode hair or your hairline looks like the coast of Japan, Japan just might have saved you. Okay, so I saw this today and it says, Wasabi found to promote hair growth three times faster than minoxidil. I was like, what? So it says here that recently Kinin, I don't know that company, said one of the leading companies in the wasabi game announced a startling discovery. The spicy sushi topping can regrow hair. So it says, the researchers who made this discovery found a chemical contained in the leaves of the wasabi plant called isosapronarian, I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry, has the ability to awaken the papilla cells in the human scalp. Oh, that's good. Maybe you should slow down before you go out and buy lots of wasabi because it says one of the companies that works in the wasabi industry. So mm, is this true or not? I'm not sure. But anyways, it says when the human cells come in contact with this chemical, they decide to start growing again. It says it also triggers the development of proteins that create pathways for nutrients that travel to the paplia cells. Papilla, I don't know. So it says it's similar to other products like minoxidil, etc. And apparently, I guess this will help people. Uh, some people were saying, I'm going to the convenience store right now. I'm going to tell all my, gold, my bald co-workers to paint their heads with wasabi. Uh, so you don't eat it? You rub it on your head? I can just rub my head, <laughs> rub my sushi on my head before eating it? So maybe if I cut it down with water... But how can you live with wasabi on your head? I don't know. That's for someone else to figure out. So I thought this was really interesting. But as I say, you have to kind of put this on your head. You can't just, you know, like eat it, unfortunately. Or maybe fortunately. It depends on how you feel about wasabi. But they give you some tips here. If you go to a grocery store, you can't use that like tubed wasabi because that's not going to work. So it says here, if you're going to a grocery store in Japan, it says Han Wasabi Shiyo. That's like a... I guess like real wasabi and then uh, hon wasabi iri that's uh, means it just has wasabi in it it's not necessarily wasabi so if you get this you'll be okay or if you don't know what that is just buy the root sometimes you can find the root although it's kind of expensive to be honest and actually wasabi is used for lots of things I've had wasabi ice cream before and they have lots of different things for that sometimes aren't good but sometimes they're okay but i just thought it would be interesting and at first you think like okay why would somebody do this but actually japan is i believe the number one country when it comes to baldness so let me look at this story here i found this before it says japan top for male baldness in asia so i'm sorry it's not the world it's just in asia I think they have a little infographic here but it talks about places with the most <laughs> baldness i guess uh, I guess number one is the Czech Republic. Who would have guessed? I didn't know that. Uh, I don't know if I can... Can I make this bigger? Uh, so you can actually see this. Yeah, it's still a little bit small. Show me something bigger. Oh uh, yeah, it goes number one, Czech Republic. Number two, Spain. Number three, uh, Germany. Number four... France, number five, England, number six. I can't even see that. I'm guessing that's America. Number seven, Italy, number eight. I guess Netherlands? It's hard to read. This is too small. Uh, no, that's not Netherlands. Uh, Poland, I think that is. I can't, is that a dot there? Whatever. Uh, number 10 is Canada. Number 11 is Russia. Number 12 is Australia, I believe. Number 13, Mexico. 14, Japan. There. So, actually, in the grand scheme of things, they're not that bald. So, I guess good for them. Although, I do see quite a few bald people here. So, hmm, it's an interesting thing. And it's kind of unfortunate because in Japan, people don't really shave their heads. So... I think in America you can kind of get away with it because some people just shave their heads for no reason and then there's people that shave their heads because they're bald so you don't really know if someone's bald or not maybe they just you know they're like doing some kind of sport so they cut their hair or maybe they're going bald so you can kind of get away with it but in Japan people don't really do that so 
it, they have that you know like ring thing so it's very apparent if you've gone bald so I guess it kind of works against you in Japan unless you're a monk if you're a monk you can get away with it so I guess <laughs> that's maybe a good job for you if you're worried about losing your hair anyways that's it for today if you like this leave me something down below I hope you enjoyed it and until next time see you <laughs>